Hello you guys, welcome to my birthday vlog. I have Sarah, my personal makeup artist here. Yes. She flew out all the way just to do my makeup today. Uh -huh. And yep. just that. <laughs> Kylie, my personal assistant here that takes all of my photos for me. <laughs> it's not like they're my best friends or anything. They just flew here to come assist me on yeah. my birthday yeah, she's weekend. Paying us. I'm yeah. paying them. I yeah. I paid for their flight. You here. know, actually, we take pain. They're my the team. Front. They're my team. <laughs> We're They're glam my glam, glam team. squad. They're glam squad. Um, but yeah, Sarah's gonna do my makeup. So let's just do like a little time lapse of the makeup. We <laughs> so we want like naturally but shimmery. I like shimmery. Sarah's gonna attempt to make a rose salami. Um, and then we're setting up snacks. <gasps> Stop! Okay, right. Sarah, that's so good. <laughs> Okay, Dolores is showing me the cake that she made me. Okay, but this is my first time. But it's made with so much love. With so much love. Okay. <laughs> Stop, Lady, that's cute! What's wrong with that? That's cute! It's cute, I love it! It's made with so much love. The finishing touches. Wait, that's so cute. See, Dolores? I don't really, I think it's, I think it's good. I think it's, it's an aesthetic. A humble queen, a humble queen. Look at the outfit. Give a spin. Oh yeah. Beautiful. It's really windy though. She's so work with it. Yeah. What is your what is your vision for this photo shoot? Um my vision is a respectful, humble, um, rich though. Oh um, okay. Oh. Okay. Um 20 more expensive. <laughs> expensive. Well, it's expensive. Look at this, this and this. <laughs> This is my videographer behind the scenes girl, Kai Pai. She's getting all the behind the scenes vlog content.
my glam and creative directing team. They're literally the best. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh. I literally like, hit your head. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Yeah, it, it's my a little chaotic really behind really the bad. scenes, but I you know. I love you. <laughs> now I'm gonna change because I'm so overdressed and then I'm gonna take pics with them. Creative Direction by Sarah. Ooh, should hire me. I don't know how they're so pretty. Oh, thank you. I look like a wet dog right now. No, you don't. <laughs> Her eyes are like so blue <laughs> and green. Okay, this is where we are. It's so cute. guys i'm talking into my phone mic so they can hear us better but we're currently at target there's a phone trying mic in there? it's you're using voice memos oh i thought it was like way more complicated than that i mean target has loud music so like i want to like try to hear our voices better and i just sync it to the video oh yeah it's not like connected to my camera anyways we're at target trying to find a book because sarah kylie and i want to start a little book club bestie book club this is your sign to start a little book club with your besties. We've chosen a couple of contestants. Funny you should ask. And then I also suggested one, one Italian, Italian summer. summer. Yeah. Yeah, I'm honestly kind of down for this one. This one looks really the good. one Italian summer? Yeah. Okay, okay let's do I'll, that one. I'll get that okay. one. Yeah, I'll get it on my Kindle too. Cute. Cute. So I actually have a Kindle at home, but I'm gonna buy the book because the cover is just so freaking cute. Elefante brunch and do you guys know what you're gonna get yet? No clue. We just put in an order of the whipped eggplant because that's like my favorite thing here but we have an ocean view right there which is so nice and I told them it's my birthday so hopefully I get something special. We'll see.
Sarah's never been to this Glossier store, and she's the one who put me on Glossier back in what, like, 2017 or something. Yeah, I've only been to oh, yeah, a pop in San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, so she's been doing about Glossier. Um, I'm gonna just take them around Melrose area. Yeah, spray me, please. Spray the vlog. <laughs> The best perfume, literally ever. Also, I changed my outfit, or kind of. I just bought this headband from Ello. I feel like it goes really well. was kind of hard for me to open. I haven't had this honestly in like years. I can't remember the last time I had it. It's gonna do a taste so test for us. It. Make sure you mix it up. Yes, mix, mix, mix. It's very, very matcha-y. Look. It's the best. It's simply the best. Like, How is it? Still as good as you remember? Still, still the same as I remember. Okay, good. Just like just like the first time. You know how people are like, oh, it tastes like the first time I had Yes. It's just like that. Okay, oh. good. That's rare to find something where it's as good as like the first time you mm -hmm. had it. It's very it good. Is. I also got the same thing. Yeah, Kylie now likes strawberry matchas. She I do. She just get teas before. Okay, so wait, so yeah. this is actually at the Alfred Tea Room on Melrose, and this is the only Alfred that has this drink. So, yes. Yeah. And we left Sarah at the coffee one because she's a coffee girl. Yeah, she's a coffee girl. Like, and the line was line really was long. Long. There's no line here. And we're only two minutes away, so yeah. we didn't like. We didn't abandon her. Okay. <laughs> Hey Kai. That's I'm good. not good at using chopsticks. Isn't it good? Yeah. What's the rate? What would you rate it out of 10? Eight and a half. Fair. Fair. I usually don't like green beans like that. But when it's all and garlic and stuff, it's so good. Like wow, and cheese or something. Oh my god. Don't they look so good? They do. There's one brand that are really good. Because it's like You really like it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kylie, your face is like in shock right now. They're really good. Yeah, right? I don't know why I'm surprised. <laughs> I like, I love hey guys. Simbola. It's Monday, the 30th. The day before my birthday, Dolores is playing with Simba. Dolores, you can be in it. But Dolores is over because we're about to leave to go to a dinner reservation. So smart dog. Good job, Simba. For me and Danica's birthdays. We're going to Nobu tonight and it's her first time and it's Danica's first time and we're going for happy hour so it's gonna be cheaper, which we love.
12.02 and it's officially my birthday. Getting a couple texts from my cousin, Selena. Shout out to her. She's the first person to wish me happy birthday. I love her so much. I can't remember a year where I don't stay up till midnight for my birthday. So I just had to keep the tradition going. But I have to go to sleep now because I have work in the morning and I have to wake up early. So see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is the next morning of my 24th birthday. I've just been working all morning, so I haven't really been vlogging at all, but I am going out later to get some of my birthday freebies like Chipotle chips and guac. Sorry, my work messages are just going off right now. So I also want to do a haul of all the things that my friends got me for my birthday so we'll do that later um but yeah just like working and chilling right now super chill work day too which is great right now i'm giving you guys a what i got for my birthday haul i'm so grateful for all of my friends and the gifts that they got me i feel like they know me so well let's start out with what my sister got me she got me this matcha perfume that i've really been wanting from urban outfitters it smells so good my sister also got me a new pair of sandals slash flip-flops she got me these really cute olukai sandals they have this really nice pineapple design on them i don't know if you can tell on the camera and they're a little bit platform which i'm obsessed with if you know me you know i love a good platform and the very last thing she got me she got me the new rare beauty highlighter the powder one it is so so pretty i told her i've already used it you can see um but i told her that i really wanted this but i was like oh it's like sold out at all those floors like you probably can't get it like it's fine and then i opened my gift and here it is and then my friend katrina she got me a really cute gift um she got me this box with my name on it and it has my name on it because she actually asked me to officially be her bridesmaid for her wedding and I absolutely cannot wait to be her bridesmaid and support her throughout her whole you know bridal process she got me this really good matcha green tea hair mask and then she also got me another hair beauty highlighter but in a different shade this one is flaunt it's like a super bronzy cute highlighter I'm obsessed with it um, and now so now I have two of the four rare beauty powder highlighters which makes me so happy and then she got me the cutest little summer fridays baby lip balm okay let's put some on cute right and then she got me a tatcha i think this is a moisturizer it's their dewy skin cream and then she got me a milk mascara and the last thing is a cute little robe so like when we get ready with her for the wedding we can all be matching and then from a couple of my friends my friend evan gave me this really cute mini vintage sweater evan and i we go to disneyland together all the time like that's all we do when we hang out because we both have annual passes so he got me this sweater and i'm definitely going to wear it the next time i go to disney i also feel like it's very like cute valentine's day vibes i mean you could wear it all year round but like especially for valentine's gonna look so cute he also got me a diffuser i've been wanting to try out a diffuser for so long but just like have never bought it for myself and he bought me like the good brand like this is the stuff that they sell in anthropology that smells so good he got me the lychee flavor which is literally perfect i love lychee so so excited to use this and then my friend caitlin who's evan's girlfriend but she's also like my really good friend um she got me this super cute cardigan from aritzia which i already wore this weekend you could probably see it in the vlog it's when i went to lido with my friends it was so cute i literally had to wear it the next day and then she also got me this really cute bagu bag and coco and then andrew got me a bagu bag i actually asked him for this because i used caitlin's bagu bag when i went to new york and i was obsessed with it so i needed one for when i have um some traveling upcoming this year so i just got the plain black one and he also wrote me a super super cute letter and he also got me flowers i want to go get those really quick and show you okay i have the flowers so here are the flowers he got me like two of them are actually like dying but please ignore that but 
Um, he got me these really cute green flowers and he was like, when he gave them to me, he was like, oh, they're matcha flowers because they're green and he knows how much I love matcha. So I thought that was super sweet and thoughtful. And then a couple other gifts that I got, my friends Reese and Jesse, they got me a really cute little Polaroid album and I was so pleasantly surprised when I opened this, but, but they also got me a couple of items from Set Active. They got me this really cute blue sports bra. I don't have anything in this color, so very happy about that. And then they got me this really cute sage green one shoulder top. Okay, I just have a couple of more things. My friend Sarah got me this really, really nice candle. It smells so good. She lives in San Francisco, so she goes to like farmer's markets and stuff all the time. And she said she found this really cute Filipino lady who is selling these candles and it's called the Mahal scent. And in Tagalog, Mahal Kita means like, I love you. Um, and so this actually is the scent of a flower from the Philippines. And if you don't know, I'm Filipino. So I just thought this was like so thoughtful that she got it for me and it smells really good. And she also got me this really pretty necklace again from like a local business in San Francisco, which I love. And it's just a really pretty jewelry piece. And then my friend Megan actually got me some really nice gifts. She got me this super yummy chocolate mochi, which I've already tried and it's delicious. Um, and then she also got me, I already ate it, but she got me this handmade pasta from Italy in Century City and I made it yesterday for lunch. It was so good. And then the last thing that I wanted to show was from all of my friends. They pitched in and they all got me this Our Place green pan, which I've been wanting for a really long time. I've been trying to cook a lot more or, you know, increase my cooking skills a little bit. And I feel like this will just motivate me and I love the aesthetic of it. And I heard that it's a really good pan. So I'm very excited to start using this. It came with like other accessories, but I was just like too lazy to bring them up here. But the color is absolutely beautiful and I love it so much and I can't wait to start using it. So that is everything that I got for my birthday this year again. So insanely grateful that I have friends and family that love me and that, you know, know me so well and give me, you know, really nice gifts. Um, it's like the biggest blessing ever. I love everyone in my life so much. I will see you guys in a little bit when I get some free birthday stuff. You guys, I got my Chipotle for lunch and then we got the free chips and guac for my little birthday reward thingy. So it's really sunny because the sun is kind of setting already, but I'm off of work now. We are off to get some birthday freebies. My first, oh, my door just flew open because it's windy. Um, the first stop is going to be nothing but cake. Okay, bye. Wait, this is actually so funny. I just got a text from my sister saying that she got me a butt cake and she's going to go pick it up for me. And I'm literally here getting a free butt cake. LOL. Okay. Okay, guys. We are back in the car. I got the butt cakes. This was my sister's order. So she had ordered me a red velvet butt cake and was going to pick me up and surprise me. But I think she checked my location and saw that I was here. So I just got another one for free. I got the snickerdoodle flavor. I don't think I've tried this one. And I love like cinnamon, like coffee-ish cake. So... I want to try this one out. Okay, so now I'm gonna drive to Starbucks and get my free Starbucks birthday drink. I'm getting my iced matcha latte. You can see the little birthday reward is applied. It would usually be like eight something because I add all of this extra syrup and cold foam to it to make it the most expensive 
shrink that I can make it so that's fully worth it and I'm also adding a cake pop to it because I love their birthday cake pops and even though I've had a lot of birthday treats already I just feel like I need a birthday cake pop because they're my fave It is not a complete birthday without my free birthday matcha drink. And also I got my birthday cake pop in a cute little clear bag. I've never seen their clear bags before, which is cute. It's like Cosmo and Wanda moment right here with the green and the pink. Um, but yay, Starbucks birthday drink. Mm. I need to go get ready for dinner tonight. We're gonna go to Starfish in Laguna Beach. I've only been there once before, but it's slowly become one of my favorite restaurants because it was so good the first time I went. And then my other freebie things, like I have one for Coffee Bean, I have one for Panera. Those actually don't expire for a couple days, which is really nice. So I'm just gonna go maybe like tomorrow or in a couple days for that. Let's go home and get ready for dinner. Okay hey guys, about to leave for dinner. Wanted to quickly show my outfit before I left. Ignore the slippers. I'm going to be wearing some heels, but I have this really cute corset top dress from Urban Outfitters. I actually got it on sale and I got it for like $13, which was a steal of a century. Um, and then I paired it with my Jerf Avenue blazer. I feel 24 in this outfit, which is great. my matcha and my cake pop from earlier as i enjoy my little treat um i wanted to do a little reflection about my birthday and just you know another year of life in general i feel like i kind of did one of these last year in my 23rd birthday vlog so i kind of wanted to do another one I'm just going to ramble and rant about anything that comes to my mind. So if I sound a little bit crazy, that's why. Anyways, this birthday was a really good birthday. Obviously, you can tell from the vlog, I had so many fun celebrations. I'm even grateful that I, you know, get to have kind of like a little more extravagant and like nice and planned out birthday celebrations. I know I'm not everyone can have that and it means a lot that i'm able to do that overall just grateful for another incredible year of life honestly 23 was such a good year for me maybe one of the best honestly i feel like i really adulted this year like i know i'm still a young adult like i'm only 24 but it's like next year i'm turning 25 like i'm literally in my mid 20s um so that's kind of crazy wait am i in my mid 20s now i think i'm in my mid 20s now i'm not in my early 20s anymore okay um i'm gonna let that realization sink in for a second actually no we're not gonna let it sink in because i'm gonna have a crisis if i do I don't know, life is just going fast and I can't believe I'm 24, like I literally still feel 16 I know I still look 16 I know like I sound kind of crazy because I know 24 is young Like I just can't believe I'm like this close, I'm only one year away from being 25 And I feel like that's just such a big number in my head because all of my life that's just been like a big number to me It's like 
oh, when I'm 25, I will have done this. Or like, oh, when I'm 25, I will have this, you know? Like, I used to think I was going to get married at 25, and now I'm like, no way in hell do I want to get married that young. But I don't know, like, it's weird how, like, your perspective changes. I think it was something that I always just, like, romanticized and kind of, like, fantasized about, but, like, I'm literally almost there, and it kind of freaks me out because it just makes me feel like life is going really fast. Also, I feel like something that I've been thinking about a lot lately is that I'm living the life that I've always kind of like dreamed about or worked towards and like I feel like I'm living in my 20s which is like what I'm gonna look back on when I'm older and be like, oh, I wish I was like in my 20s again. You know how people say that? Up until like I graduated college, I literally dreamed of just like getting a job that I really liked and like having all the free time in the world like not having to worry about homework or exams or anything and just like having financial like stability being able to pay for everything myself like being able to do whatever I want I literally have that and that's like really crazy to me I literally work towards it my entire life and like I have it and I'm living it and I feel like I realize that sometimes and that's insane to me because again like I've dreamed about it for so long and it's what I've always wanted and I got it for myself which is crazy um I'm like having an existential crisis right now like I'm thinking about the past I'm thinking about the future I'm thinking about the present like my mind is like going in 10 different directions right now I feel like I'm not making any sense but like if you can relate to this the, like please let me know that i'm not crazy um but yeah i don't know like i don't know how to express how grateful i am for my life i genuinely feel like i like have the best life ever and i don't know what i did to deserve it sometimes um but i feel like all i can do is just like be grateful for it um and try to like give back all of this like all of the blessings and all of, like the good energy that i've received just want to try to give back to the people in my life um yeah okay so um this is 24 i'm gonna end this before i cry i've also been talking for eight minutes now about who knows what um so i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you guys so much for coming along my 24 fourth birthday with me i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog thank you for all of the birthday wishes if you wish me happy birthday i really really appreciate it it really means a lot to me i'm a words of affirmation girly so i love it when people tell me happy birthday um but yeah i will see you guys in the next vlog bye